Hi, I'm Nick Davis. Welcome to episode 4. And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, the People's Republic of Magnitogorsk is in very much so in danger. Uh, let's also make this. Uh, the Euro League, inspired by our pimp slapping of Durlwanger, is soon about to declare war on us. It's very bad. Uh, maybe, uh, this is like my fifth time trying to beat them. I've, like, gotten so close every time, but there's like, the AI changes up what it does. Because, we're, like, we're gonna let Magneto Gorse fall, but then we're gonna fall back on Cherny Beefs while these two divisions rest to, rush to this, because those are the only victory points they have. So, we're, I think instead of what we've been doing, we're, we're not gonna instantly deploy this. We're gonna deploy as soon as they get close. So they have, like, the illusion of ch of chasing. We're gonna... The, the only, like, critical divisions that have to move are this one, and I think a couple of these over here. Because if they, if they don't move, we're a little, a little boned. Actually, if we... Actually, no. Comrades, Magneto Gorsk is in danger. There, there come the wolves. Two days and that's an anomaly. Somehow they're pulling all these divisions out their ass. They never were there. There. This is definitely winnable, but it's got to be very, 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 very certain circumstances. Troops captured. Might be one of the wins. Yep, but we haven't had any yet. No longer either.
Victory, comrades, victory. The greatest victory in the history of mankind. That's a quote from 1984. Removal of the Western Obstruction Despite significant initial resistance, the Euro League has been eliminated as a source of opposition within the region. Following the efforts of the Euro Guards, the Opposition Force Information Files 7 and 12 to obstruct the retrieval of testing subjects from the Western Population Centers, the removal was deemed necessary to continue pursuing multiple vital avenues of research. Due to their advanced training, see subfile 12.1 for details on the Ural Guard Training Regimen and the unfavorable combat conditions of the Ural Mountains. See attached elevation map. The initial offensive operation did not prove as successful as hoped, with only 48% of units reaching their designated targets within the opening weeks. However, the superior manufacturing base and the greater manpower pool of the greater Magnitogorsk area see most recent census documents, proved decisive, as the Yorga Guard was unable to keep their forces sufficiently reinforced and resupply, resupplied in periods of extended engagement. As the conflict, conflict progressed, they were forced back until eventually all significant population centers in the southern Urals were secured and the Guard lacked any functioning command structure. The newly acquired territory is low in both population and industrialization. The capture of large num <coughs> of formal Euro Guard members have made the conflict a net gain, despite heavy losses. See casualty re record fil filings on equipment loss reports. It has been observed that the average, average Guard member displays significantly higher strength, stamina, and dexterity than the average inha inhabitant of the region. See experiment 1961-41 for specifics. These qualities make them ideal testing candidates for mo many of the most important experiments being conducted at the Black Mountain involving physical and genetic manipulation. Already approximately 12,000 former guard members have been identified detained for transport to testing facilities. Acquisition teams have begun searching the former territory of the EuroLeague. It is po probable that large numbers of guards remain in hiding. Understood. That's how you cheese. That is how you cheese. I mean, the greatest victory in the history of socialism just came to the People's Republic of Medinigdogorsk. We're gonna train our infantry division, Norsk. Do we got this as a core now? No. Euro League, we can run over with little difficulty. I mean, Orenburg. Mm, I should say eight, so that's why I'm. But let's get that T55. Not that we're ever gonna make it. We're content in having the greatest victim victory socialism has ever seen. People's Republic of Magnitogorsk has just defended the brave. Men and women. Okay, I I tried switching up the steam, so just so just ignore this. I don't know why they're still popping up. Let's bribe soldiers and stack the bureaucracy. Then we can get recruit local assets. Oh look at this. We're only uh only Orenberg remains until we can become the autonomous oblast of Magneto Bashkorostan. The greatest victory in the history of socialism has just come to us. Let's see, Lyshenko's average sanity I'm sorry if I, I didn't read those events because I was just focused on getting this done. Because uh, this is like my fifth try trying to get it. But soon we're going to have Orenberg. Then I think we're going to end it. We have to go to. Oh, we have to go through all this though. We did this all before the German Civil War. Which we, we're basically about to see in a month. 
but that's definitely I I knew that like I thought that run was doomed I thought this run was doomed but we did it the AI we cheesed it yet again now look at our beautiful black spot we're bigger now still not as big as Tomsk or like most other warlords but still we're big uh, just attrition preparation but Ordenburg's such a pushover cause I think they, they might not pass the reforms and their council, council might break then we could just rush here, here, and this division to Ornberg without any major threats. But I'm I'm sorry if you guys expected a legitimate run. Had to cheese it. God, that was stressful. We defeated the Ural, the Ural guards and Daryl Wanger with only two, but two real ones. Well, that one actually did defeat a division, um, like a motorized division. <sighs> Weaponry drills, limited force integration. Armament acquisitions. Then we want to let slip the Hounds of War. I think and target Orenburg. Julian troops captured again. Our camps grow larger again. Okay, yeah, I think we're doing some pretty immoral stuff. But all in the name of the Union. Magneto, of course, can't re can't reunite the Soviet Union, though. I think only the West Revolutionary Front, uh, Sverdlovsk, Tumen, uh, let's see, Irkutsk and Buryatsk. I I'm really bad at pronouncing these names, but there's also been a warlord like revamp, so I might be wrong. We can't make the, the NKVD. Oh wait, we could bribe soldiers. We still have 5,000 guns left over. Then we gotta. Then we should do that again. Just so we can get it. So we can recruit assets again. But the brave NKVD. I've just defeated the traitors down and the bandits. We're we're. I was so convinced we weren't able, we weren't going to do be able to do that. I was going to have to end the series. But no, you guys are actually going to be able to see the German civil war and Hitler's death, which is going to cause a huge lag spike. By the way. Also, I think another reason for lag is. Game options. Game. It's video. It's day and night cycle. Eh, I think it's in the regular menu. I'll turn that off later. If if there is a later episode, probably will just to deal with Orenberg. Hmm. Come on, Hitler, die! I'm gonna scratch my ears so that's what you're gonna hear. My ears get itchy in these headphones. They're good headphones though. But look at look at how thick we are now. That's hostile attrition preparation. Uh fortification building. Your guys are basically about to see this all collapse. Collapse. Yeah, I have a little bit of a lisp. I don't, it's not a lisp. It's like, this is a lisp. But it's just, I have a little trouble pronouncing some of the, 
some words sometimes. I just get a little tongue tied. I'm like Joe Biden. Now we're just sitting around ready to get rid of Orenberg. Because we, I think we've done this all, all super, super early. Definitely a Lyshenko moment. <coughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, let's bribe soldiers once it's done. In five days. <sighs> but after that war, I think it's it's really gonna be easy because all we have to do is take out Orenberg, then we're then we're done. Because it's just a demo show, and we've done it way way too early, I think. Oh my computer! Do hope like the frame rates don't tank when the German Civil War happens. It'll tank for like a second, mostly because the day and night cycle I left on. Surprise, soldiers! Oh, that gives. Hmm. Let's name this. Uh, NKVD mm, Army. But you guys just witnessed some AI abuse. I'm a huge abuser of AI. Also, uh, with the German Civil War happening, a bunch of African nations are going to spawn in because this is all controlled by anarchy. The Guard Enduring. Hmm. Anarchy. You guys could pause and read it. But it's basically like there's no civilization, no like coherent government here because it's just being like bombed by the Germans like we are. We got terror, Luftwaffe terror bombing. It, it would be funny if we won, like, we formed, uh, we conquered the southern murals even before we got rid of terror. We've got, like, uh, three of the four, like, done. Well, one being us, so that doesn't really count. Let's do this. Just so we can give Lyshenko his sanity. Definitely the German Civil War was supposed to break out any second now. Hmm. It's, it's, I bet you it's going to break out. Actually, no, it, it usually breaks out between May and August, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's recruit local assets. It's a 44, but then we could just, the next time we get to 50, just... Take another one. Hmm. But Orenberg, we're gonna push them over. Cause they they're they're gonna fall into anarchy with basically with this because they don't have like Malenkov or Burba taking over, so they're just gonna stay disunited and we're gonna roll over them. Then as soon as we unite the southern Urals, I'm done with it. Cause there's not not much really to do. Now we're just really waiting for the German Civil War to begin. But look at how big their empire is. The Greater Germanic Reich. Where we're sitting here in this region, the south the Southern Urals. 
black spot. Well, not as black as Omsk or the Germans. Actually, what is the blackest place? It's anarchy. It's so dark, like, it's blending in with, like, the sea. Well, not blending with the sea, but, like, it's very dark. You guys probably thought I was going to say something racist, but that's not. We don't like racism here. Aryan Brotherhood, I believe they're... Oh. Doesn't have a leader description. I thought it did. I thought he did. Okay, one of those new divisions coming out. <sighs> the main challenge is over. <clears throat> All we have to do is take out Ornberg. <sighs> but we're getting the Winter Soldier program. I forgot to read it. Kaminik Nancy from Lyshenko's Kamer Lyshenko's office has announced the success of the first experiments in the Programma Simne Winter Sol Soldier Program. And with this begins with this the beginning steps of the conquest of man's physical weaknesses. With the expansion of the program's temporary research facilities have been set up at Magnitogorsk's peaks. See temporary research facilities in section two A two A B Access to these facilities is restricted to clearance level 1A and 2A only. Communique over. We're going to basically torture people up on the top of the mountain, perform experiments on them. Uh, acquirement of subjects. Can we do... Let's bribe soldiers. We're not hemorrhaging guns now. We gotta just wait for the Germans to start killing each other to stop bombing us. Uh, but then we're gonna roll over Ornberg and finally end my pain. Also, another reason I haven't like been make uh the main reason this is probably a very delayed episode is because I've been playing Battle Brothers it's a very very fun game it's like Mountain Blade Warband but like a, a turn based strategy game it's very very fun I love it I've racked up like 30 hours 34 hours like and I got it like a couple days ago it's a very fun game I have to admit it that's why there's not been any episodes for me in fact, I'm going to play as soon as this ends. Or I might just be on my phone while I'm watching TikToks and stuff. That's probably something you you probably would not expect to hear in a Hearts of Iron 4 video about the Nazis winning World War II. We just got to acquire subjects, torture them to keep Lyshenko's sanity above up. What can we do now? Oh, really? Oh, three divisions. We got, look at the, the cool infantry designs next to our NKVD. This is a mod that I have installed that it's for TNO just for the demo and stuff, but I forgot what it's called. It's called like uh, the name of the creator's replacement, like, thing. But they're ba they basically have the Libyan flag. <laughs> well, when Libya was under Gaddafi. Oh, that's the timer. I'm Nick Davis. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll run over Ornberg and see the Germans collapse.